We're here at GameCom 2014 and we're asking uh, people who have played our game a few questions. So, like, first question, did you like it? I loved it. It's amazing. It's really good. You're here in uh, the Wolf booth. Uh, you just played uh, one of the levels. What's your first impression? Um, it was very funny and um, I liked the game. It was very smooth. The gameplay was very smooth and um, the hack and slay between the jump and one was very amazing. I liked it. It was cool. Which level did you play? Uh, well, I actually played a couple of them. Uh, one of them was uh, the sewer. Uh, the sewer, so I think. And then one of them was more from the industrial one, I think heavy metal. Um, I quite like that, yeah. Very much steampunk-like. The factory? The factory, maybe, yes. I uh, saw so you played the, the puzzle uh, element. You played it all the way through, I think. You finished it. Um, what which was your favorite element? Um, well, I, I like it in general, but I like that you can jump and climb and that you have to figure out where you have to go. And it's not just walking straight. You can also like take turns and you can take different turns. You have to find the right way. That's amazing. I very much like the, the optical style. It's jump and run. And I like those kinds of games. I mean, it seemed like a, like a really good, like new and fresh take uh, on the whole sort of run and jump thing, which can be really hard to do. While the game is in 2D, you still have to think three-dimensionally. Okay. So this this really adds to the depth of the me puzzle mechanics. I had a lot of fun when I walked through the um, level design. I think it's really beautiful. The game design is cool. Uh, I'm getting designer for myself. I have to say it uh, looks really good. Uh, yeah, and the, the visual design, of course, it's, uh, it's top notch, mate. Storytelling is becoming a more and more important like aspect of the game. I just you know, just in general, and I think that's something a lot of like bigger titles really don't don't get uh, do that well often. And you know, I uh, I think this title's got a lot of great potential, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the final release. Always go out with a bang, father taught me. I hope it hurts. Both. I hope your ship's going as well as your evil mind. Now, let's see this doom city behind. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Alice Madness Returns. The um, atmospheric is uh, very good. I like very much graphic, and I like this type of uh, platform game. It's a dark game with very nice atmosphere, and um, the, puzzle, the puzzles are very, very, very nice. The, uh, it's uh, <laughs> the riddles, guy. Yeah, the riddles are um, quite well too. You have to play a little bit with the side stick to see uh, everything. It's uh, fun. Um, the last part where this gigantic, I don't know the English words. I'm so Real. sorry. Uh, Zahnrad um, thingy uh, was um, swinging from side to side and was trying to catch you. It was very funny and very unexpected. I was like, whoa, okay, what's this? This was cool. Follow the other. The map design, the design of the character I see, the enemy design, it's really cool. And I think um, this is a game I'll, uh, I'll stay, in my, stay in my mind and I'll wait for the release, of course. Would you buy it? I would buy it, yeah. I love it. <laughs> yes, of course, I would buy it. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, yeah, not for $80 or something, uh, but... Uh, well, let's say for $15. Of your cost. I would totally buy it. I would definitely, yes. I would buy it, yes.